Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be shopping my stash and duping the vibe of the Lisa Eldridge Cinnabar palette. This is the palette with those beautiful bronze and copper shades. It's one that I've had my eye on ever since she came out with her new palettes. So I'm going to find some similar shades in my collection and create this eye look. If you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button. And now let's get into today's video. Before we get into the eyeshadow tutorial, I'm gonna do just a brief overview View of the Cinnabar palette, the shade descriptions, the textures, and my overall thoughts about the palette. The Eldridge palettes are $68 each. There are five different palettes to choose from, and the Cinnabar palette has a variety of bronze and warm copper and rich brown shades. This one definitely appealed to me because I thought it would be perfect as an everyday palette. I often wear these types of shades, so I was definitely drawn to this palette. This palette has three matte eyeshadows, two metallic and one glittery top coat. So starting on the top row from left to right, we have Raw Sienna, which is a light caramel eyeshadow and it is a seamless matte. The next shade is Bronzite, which is a satin metallic eyeshadow and it is a rich warm bronze. Fired Earth is a seamless matte eyeshadow and it is a deep, rich, earthy brown. And then on the bottom from left to right, we have Lost Summer, which is a warm copper shade and that is a metallic. Next is Deep Ochre, which is a rich, earthy brown and that is a velvet matte. And then that last shade is called Ritual and it's a top coat. And it's a soft, light gold with some pearly reflex. And that one looks so pretty. So upon first glance, this looked like a really nicely curated palette. It's got a good mix of mattes and shimmers, a nice range of shades, but then after really closely looking at it, there were a few things that kind of held me off from purchasing it right away. The first thing I noticed was that most of the shades seem to be medium to deep, and the lightest shade is Ritual, which is a top coat, but really that one's going to be more of a sheer transparent base with lots of pearly reflex to it, and you're not going to get much pigmentation from that one. For most of my looks, I'll put a light shimmer or a light metallic shade all over my lids and the only shades in this palette that I could do that with are Bronzite and Lost Summer and both of those are a like medium intensity rich color so there's nothing super light in this palette and for me that would be a necessity. Another thing is that two of the shades in this palette are very deep mattes. We've got Fired Earth and Deep Ochre and for me those would be more like accent shades. I would probably use them to line my upper lash line or or maybe deepen up the outer corner just slightly, but often I don't use very dark matte shadows in my eye looks. I'll tend to reach for an eyeliner rather than a dark matte eyeshadow if I am going to line my eyes. So I felt like if I didn't get too much use out of those two shades, then I'm spending $68 on a palette just to use four of the shades, and I don't know for me personally if that would be worth it. And then also three of the eyeshadows in this palette are matte and while matte eyeshadows are essential they're nice to have I always like to put a light or medium matte shadow in my crease they don't really excite me you know and for me personally I would be fine with just one light to medium matte eyeshadow and then the other five be satin or metallic or shimmery maybe even one top coat thrown in so for me to really get excited about one of these palettes and to know that I would use it every day it would have to have just just one, maybe two mattes, and then the rest shimmers and metallics. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to shop my stash, find some shades that I think would be similar, and try to get an idea of whether or not I would really want to purchase this palette. So now let's get into some swatches and this eyeshadow look. I've done most of my makeup except for my eye look, so I'll do a quick run through of what I'm wearing. For foundation, I'm wearing the L'Oreal True Match Nude. I mix the shades light and rosy light about half and half today. For concealer, I'm trying out a new concealer. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. I have mixed thoughts on this so far, um, but I will say that it's doing a really good job to conceal my under eye circles today, but I think I'm going to do a dedicated review on this before I give my final thoughts, so stay tuned for that. 
I set everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. For brows, I used the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint in the shade Fling and the e.l.f. Wow Brow in the shade Taupe. For bronzer, I used the Makeup Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer in the shade Light, and the more I use this, the more I love it. It really is just as good as any high-end cream bronzer. For blush, I used the CoverGirl Trio in Peach Perfection, and I used the middle shade as my all-over blush, just kind of swept all over the cheeks, and I used the light peach shade um, just a little bit over here as my highlighter today. I really love this, and I thought that peach blush would look really nice with the bronzy, coppery eye look that we're doing today. For lips, I'm wearing the NYX lip liner in the shade Nude Beige, such a good color. And then for my lip combo, this has been my go-to lip combo for the last couple of months. I started with the shade uh, Bear It All from Revlon, and then I topped that with the Clinique lipstick in Beige Pop, and then Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Pearl over the top. So such a pretty, like, perfect everyday light pink lip color. And then I also have the Rimmel Eyeliner in Nude just on my lower waterline like I always do. All right, now let's get into what you came here for, which is the eyeshadow look. If I had the Cinnabar palette, what I would most likely do first is start with the shade Raw Sienna, which is that light caramel matte shade, and I would put that throughout the crease of my eye. So the shade that I'm gonna use is this matte camel shade from the Natasha Denona Mini Nude palette. I think that this shade would be pretty similar. It's got that light caramel tone to it, it's matte, and it's also velvety smooth. So let's put this throughout the crease. And though I haven't purchased any of Lisa's eyeshadows yet, I know that I'm definitely going to, whether it's one of her palettes or whether I just purchase some singles when they come back into stock because most of the eyeshadows are currently out of stock on her site but things will eventually restock this year. Lisa is one of my favorite makeup artists. I love her style. Everything she does is so refined and elegant, and she always seems to bring out the natural beauty in all of the models that she works on. So I definitely want to try out her eyeshadows at some point. The next thing that I would do is I would put those metallic shades on my lid and I wanna find a way to incorporate both. So I think that I'll start by finding a similar shade to Bronzite, which is that warm, rich bronze. And for that, I think I'm also going to stick with the Natasha Denona Mini Palette and use this shade Bronzage down here because it really does look very similar. It's a rich warm bronze. It's got some orange and golden undertones to it. And from all of the swatches that I've seen online, I really do think that it looks very similar. So I'm going to place this on the inner half of my eye. And I'm going to press this onto my lid with a flat eyeshadow brush. Lisa Eldridge was actually the person who got me into watching makeup tutorials on YouTube. I remember coming across her videos about probably more than 10 years ago now. And I remember I was searching for a specific video on YouTube. I can't remember the topic. I think it may have been something like how to do a cat eye or how to do winged eyeliner. And I came across one of her videos and I fell in love with her style of makeup. And you know Lisa, her voice is so calming and soothing. She's just such a pleasure to watch. And then over the next couple of weeks after watching that first video, I watched every single video that she had ever posted. And even up until now, I don't think I've ever missed an upload of hers. So I just, I love Lisa, I love her artistry, and I definitely want to get my hands on some of her shadows. So now I want to find a similar shade to Lost Summer, which is that warm copper metallic. And for that, I think I found a very similar shade in the Too Faced Tickled Peach palette, and it's this shade down here. Here on the bottom is the shade from the Tickled Peach palette, and I hope that you can see on camera, it's definitely got more of a pinkish reddish undertone to it. It's very rich and it really takes on that copper shade. And I'm going to apply this on the outer half of my lid. Go all the way up to the crease. This shadow is very pigmented, it's very metallic. And I can really discern a difference between this and the bronze shadow because this one really leans into those rosy copper undertones. It looks really pretty. 
I think that the shade in the Cinnabar palette, Lost Summer, is the one that I am most interested in. And if I was to just buy one single from the palette, it would probably be that one. I want to put this on my lower lash line too, so I'm using a Refer 03, the very small pencil brush, just to get it really precisely on the outer corner here. I'm going to connect it to the shadow at the outer corner. And then I'll bring it about halfway. I think I'll also pull it out just a little, kind of like a little bit of a wing. One of the main reasons that I haven't purchased any of her palettes or single eyeshadows yet is because I could not decide what I wanted. I really wanted Cinnabar, but I also really wanted Vega, which is that gorgeous, like silvery cool tone palette. I also really liked Muse, which is the one with all the pretty pinks and rose shades. And then of course the Sorcery palette with all those beautiful green shades. So I couldn't decide and I knew I wasn't gonna purchase all four. And then by the time that I really got around to sitting down and trying to figure out, okay, if I was gonna purchase a bunch of individual shades, what would I get? A lot of them were already sold out. So I think it's for the best. I didn't wanna be rushed into making a decision. And I'm really hoping this year that she comes out with the option to customize your own palette, which is ideally what I would really like to do. So now I'm applying this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Ritz, which I think is a really nice alternative for the shade Ritual, which is that soft golden top coat. And I feel like this is really perfect because it's got a light golden peachy base with lots of different pearly reflex and glitters. So I'm going to use this to just kind of top over the inner corner of the eye and I'm going to bring it up kind of into this hollow also on the top. As much as I love glittery top coat shades, I feel like I already have a good amount of them in my own collection and if I was to order some singles from Lisa's collection, I don't think I would get a top coat. I think I'd rather get her satin metallic shades, something that really has you know, some good pigmentation to it. So the two shades left in her palette are Fired Earth, which is a deep, warm earth brown, and Deep Ochre, which is a rich, earthy brown. So I think that I found some really good similar shades for these. Going back to the Natasha Denona Mini Nude palette, I think that this shade down here would be really similar to Deep Ochre, and it is a rich, earthy brown. So you can see it's very smooth, very rich, slightly warm reddish undertone to it but very deep and then for the shade fired earth i think that the ColourPop going coconuts palette this shade nutty is very similar it's very deep it's a warm earthy brown but it's definitely much darker than the shade next to it so I think these are really great alternatives. I think I'm going to use these shades in my look as an eyeliner. And maybe I'll start with this shade here from the Natasha Denona palette. And I'm just going to go along the outer half of my lid just to define that lash line a bit. I'll also dip into that shade Nutty to pull it out slightly. Or like a little bit of a winged look. And I'm going back with this fluffy crease brush which I used earlier for the transition shade and I'm just going to kind of buff over that outer corner. I just want this to be very soft. Alright, so my eyeshadow look is mostly done. I just applied mascara. I used the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. I used this in my previous video where I was trying out some new makeup. And now I want to do some finishing touches on the eyes. I think I'm going to add just a tiny bit of this deep brown shade to my lower lash line. And I'll also mix it with that deepest brown shade. I really just want to push this into the root of my lower lashes. Then I want to deepen the outer corner just a little, so I'm going to mix these two together. I'm just going to like lightly press that into the crease, just at the outer corner though.
and then I'm going to blend it out with a clean brush. This has nothing on it. I really love this eye look. I think it's so pretty. I love these shades, but for me, there's one thing that the Cinnabar is missing, and for me, it's an essential part of the palette. It's a light, pearly, shimmery shade, something that I can pop in the inner corner of my eye or under the brow, something to kind of brighten the eyes. So I am going to use this uh, pearly shade from the Mini Nude palette. And I don't want to stray too much from the Cinnabar palette, so I'm just going to pop a very small amount on the inner corner of the eye. And for me, this really makes a big difference in how my overall eyeshadow look looks and in the appearance of my eyes. It really makes them look a little bit brighter, a little bit bigger. Having such deep set eyes, it's really hard to do a complete eye look without some lighter shadows. And just a touch of that under the brow. And here's the finished look. I think that these bronze and copper tones are so pretty, especially for green and blue eyes. It really makes the eyes pop. This is definitely a look that I'm going to repeat. And I think that I found some really close shades to the ones in the Cinnabar palette. And I would love to know if you would like to see another video like this on any one of her other eyeshadow palettes. Let me know in the comments which palette you want me to dupe the vibe of. And also let me know if you have any of her palettes. What do you think about them? Which ones do you have? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you again very soon in the next video. Bye.